one thing that was very important to me is I wanted to find somebody who would let me have a wall and let me do whatever I wanted. And that's exactly what they did here. And then we just had to come up with a design. So I talked to Gordon and I said, you know, should I do like one of my abstract paintings? Do you think, what do you think we should do? And then he said, well, why don't you do your characters like you do on your ceramics? And I was like, perfect actually, because they would kind of echo the characters that come into Howard's. And a lot of people kept asking me, what's it going to look like? What's it going to be? And I said, you know, I know what the figures are, but I don't know the rest yet because every canvas I do, I decide while I'm doing it how it's going to move, where the colors are going to go, what kind of flow is it going to have. Literally all I thought was this would be awesome to take these characters that I do on something this tiny, like little cups and everything, and see them humongous. I'm really interested and kind of particular about the line quality. Like on anything I do, I am really particular about the way the lines go. So that was kind of a challenge out there, having volunteers kind of working on lines. Um, but they did a good job. It, it, it kind of forced me to have to let go of some control, which I'm not used to. I'm used to working alone. So that was a big challenge, but also really fun. I learned a lot doing that. BG Independent News is made possible with support from people like you. Help keep news in Bowling Green free and accessible to everyone by becoming a contributor today. Visit bgindependentmedia.org support to help Bowling Green's best source for local news, arts coverage, reviews, opinions, campus information, and community updates.